In this video, we'll be talking about Gamma Raw's retouching tools. So let me show you how they work. I have this image here of the Golden Gate, and I'm just gonna click, uh, right click on this layer and convert it into a smart object. And then I'm gonna go into Filter, Camera Raw. This time we're gonna select the Spot Removal tool. You can click on this icon here or press B on your keyboard and you can get this tool here and you can see the circle there this is my brush I can click anywhere on this image and Photoshop will find a source to clone from or copy from to remove what I've clicked on in that case that uh, red ball there that was uh, distracting in this image if you press V on your keyboard you can hide the tools so you can see the results if you press P on your keyboard you'll see the before press P again to see the after. I'm going to press V once again to bring those tools back. Now you're probably thinking, well, why would you do that on in Camera Raw? You could probably use a couple layers in Photoshop and use a healing brush tool or a clone stamp tool or something like that to get rid of that image. And you're right, you could do that in Photoshop. But the advantage of using Camera Raw is that Camera Raw works non-destructively. So any changes that you make in Camera Raw, they are not applied to the image. They're saved separately. So it's a more extreme way of working non-destructively. So now that you saw how you can just click on something and remove it, I'll show you the new feature in, in Photoshop CC. In Photoshop CC, you can actually click and drag to select something to delete, like so. And you can click and drag to find a better, better area if you like. So maybe I can just bring that down just a little bit and select that area and I think that looks good. I'm going to press V on the keyboard and yeah I think it's looking pretty good. You can also increase or decrease the size of your brush by clicking on the bracket keys just like you would do with any other brush in Photoshop or you can click and drag the slider here. So I'm going to make this brush a little bit smaller and I'm going to click and drag on this area here and we're just doing this to remove these distracting elements in the photo just so the Golden Gate Bridge is the primary focus and not these uh, and not these elements. So I can click and drag this image again, maybe bring that down just so we can get some of that texture or the water to keep it the same. Everything is looking pretty good. If I press V on the keyboard once again, keep in mind this is since you're working non-destructively, you can click on these icons here and bring those back so you can maybe move them to a different area and sample from a different area or you can click on them and press delete and it will get rid of that adjustment. So I'm going to go ahead and bring that one back and maybe place it here to keep the same texture. I'll press V once again. When you're done just press OK. And like always you can use a filter mask to mask out some of the elements so I can bring that back if I wanted to. Or you can, or you can double click on camera raw filter and click on the spot removal tools tool and these icons here represent the changes that you've made so you can click on those and make any adjustments as you see fit